Let's get started. It's time for the Jews Ultimate Tipathon. That's my jam! We're hanging with the star of the smash hit This Is Us, Susan Kalechi Watson. Then, Michael's whipping up a delicious dinner from your freezer. Plus, Carla's fixing your most common food fails with a bake-over bonanza. Get ready to flip for tips right now on The Chew. <laughs> good, good afternoon and welcome to the Chew. Thank you. Oh. Wow. The greatest show open of all time. Clinton wow. Kelly. They're laughing hysterically because we see that show open when you guys do. And there's a shot evidently where I've got my hands in the air twirling like I just don't care. And my stomach is hanging out. Yep. And these two are dying over here. <laughs> we know. As soon as I saw that belly spilling over those pants. I knew you were gonna be like, ah! <laughs> oh, so good. Well, time to bust the spanks back yep, out, here buddy. we go. <laughs> it does prove that I wasn't wearing it. Anyway, uh, you are all in for a treat because today it's the Choose Ultimate Tipathon. Yay! Yay! All right. We are bringing you a ton of ideas to make your life easier in and out of the kitchen, and our tip counter has been off the charts. It looks like this season we've given 506,400. Four tips. Wow. And they are piling in by the second. Plus, the most clever viewers ever have traveled all the way to our tasting table to share their very best tips, too. You're going to hear them throughout the entire show. Okay. I can't you guys... stop laughing. I know you can't. Thank you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nothing to see there. Nothing, Nothing to, to see, see there. You Maybe look we'll good, edit buddy. that out before the show actually airs. Oh, no, we won't. I just, I think you look fantastic, but I am just, all, the reason I can't stop laughing is whoever put that little thing together, oh, were they getting an earful Oh, you're getting an earful. <laughs> That's my one area. It's like the, my body where I'm just not that thrilled about it. It's, I'm fine with from like here up and from here down, but like that strip in the middle. Like, hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, you, so you won't be wearing any midriffs this fall? Well, no, no, no. <laughs> Crop top season's over. All right, so there's so much on the internet these days, you don't know what to believe. I'm going to describe some food-inspired social media accounts, and you have to guess if the accounts are real or if they're fake. An audience, you're going to join in on this too. Okay. Get your paddles ready. Oh, they read. I love when they reach down. I love that shot when they all reach down for the paddles. Okay. Okay, first up, is this a real or a fake social media account? It's called Someone Ate This. According to this account's bio, Someone Ate This celebrates the grossest things people shove down their throats and the hilarity of cooking mishaps. Is that real or fake? Real. Yes. The vast majority of the audience says real, and the vast majority of the audience is correct. Yes. Some images from Someone Ate This. That is, um, that's cheese on rice with gravy, evidently. Uh, what the heck's wrong with that? That is just the most disgusting little evil thing I've ever seen. So... Well, it's a meatloaf man. I thought it was gonna be like an Andrew Zimmern kind of thing. Like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, like cow testicles and the, <laughs> the blood of a snake kind of stuff. No, no a not. meatloaf man. A meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> little, little meatloaf man that somebody needs to kill a meatloaf. Boy, these people, they're getting crazy. They'll eat anything. Uh, <laughs> How about this social media account? <laughs> Food on my dog. This account is exactly what it sounds like. A man named Andrew posts photos of his adorable dog named Tiger with food stacked on top of her face. Oh, for sure. <laughs> most of the audience, not an overwhelming, well, just most, I would say about 75% of the audience says real. What do you guys say? Real, I say real. Uh, the reals are right. I, I, I figured it was real. Yeah, you let his voice throw you off. <laughs> doesn't look so happy about that pancake. He is weighed down by the pancakes. <laughs> but I'm telling you, so Kyle has a pit bull rescue, and you could stack anything on Penny's head, and she just sits there. It's humble. It's like, I don't know what it is. is it with something the, with the breed? Something with the pit bull. They will sit, and like, I think they're so happy to be rescued, you oh, they'll yeah. do it. But, but Penny will sit there with like a stack of books on her head. Kyle has tons of pictures with things stacked on Penny's head. It's kind of funny. Oh, Mary's a rescue. I can put a little something on her, like a yeah. little strawberry. Okay. <laughs> a little strawberry. How about this one? Me, my potato, and Hollywood. This account is run by Amanda, who travels around Hollywood with a raw potato and takes pictures of it placed next to stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Is that real or fake? God, I hope it's fake. I know. It's like okay, I'm in fake. I'm in fake. She's split in the audience with real uh, edging out. It is fake. Yeah. Uh, 
know that should happen. It should you know it's going to happen now. It should be a thing. Yeah. Um, we've been joking about the bunion and the onion. We'll tell you about that tomorrow. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> I know the, the people in the audience. The onion is going to be huge. Just it's so going to be huge. We're going to start. Not the bunion itself, but the whole thing. We're going to start an Instagram thing. account of the bunion and the onion. We decided. Okay. All right. How about this account? It's called Snacks in the Snow. On this account, a Colorado-based woman named Jessica places her favorite snacks in the snow and takes a picture. Her most liked post was a salmon skin roll on a snow mount. Real or fake? I'm going to say it's real. That's a real 50-50 split in the audience. It is fake. <laughs> Oh, I'm in Fuego. You're, did you get all four Fuego. right, Mike? Yeah, he did. I got them all right. What about you, Carlin? Oh, were um, there only four? I only got two right. I win! <laughs> <laughs> you win. It's always a competition. Oh, it is. I, well, what I, when you were going through and what I go through is like, this person, does this person need a job? Or is like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. some, when they're fun, they're fun. Some are like, y y you need another hobby. So if yeah. I go through the, you need another hobby, I feel that it's, I hope that it's fake. You hope that it's yeah. fake. Yeah. All right, on the topic of tips, yeah. I want to ask you guys, on a non-food related uh, mm -hmm. subject, what is the best tip that you could give somebody, just for life in general, non-food related tip? Give me your best one. You go? Um, I'm going to say, if you want to have a good time, it starts with you. It's all about attitude. Yeah. That is true. Do you feel like you got to psych yourself up to have a good time sometimes? Or I don't, you know, but when, whenever I'm going into a new situation, especially if it's a new job and, you know, we're doing, like, different things and working with different crews, I go in thinking that we're all there together for the common goal, and I'm all about a good attitude. I, I don't know people You always go to different with a good attitude. Yeah. Mike, what would you say, Mike? I got, like... Three quick ones. They're all pap tips. You know, my, my grandfather, who I talk about on the show all the time, he's in, in a couple months, he's going to be 100. Ah. He's 99. So still lives on his own, awesome. still does his own thing. So whenever he has given me tips throughout life, I really try to listen to him. And they're kind of three that he has always lived by. It's always take the stairs. Yeah. That's so like, you know, like if you see a stairs in an escalator, take the take stairs. The, stairs. Yeah. Um, the other one is... Always be yourself. Yeah. Which, I mean, I think everybody else is taken. An obvious one. And I remember when I got my first job out of culinary school, and I was really nervous. And he said, "You know what you need to worry about?" I said, "What? Always work harder than the person standing next to you." Okay. And, yeah. and I think they're all tips that I use on a daily basis. Yeah. Still. You know, it's like be yourself. If people don't like you for yourself, then. You know, you need right. new friends. Yeah. yeah. Just work harder than the people around you, and you're yeah. gonna be okay. I get it. And, I agree. Yeah. You know. How about you? Something. My best piece of advice I could give anybody. And this comes from 48 and a half years of life experience. Stop worrying so much about other people. What other people think of you says more about them than it says about you. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. That's it. Let it go. Let Don't it worry go. about it. Let it go. Carla, you got something to say? Yes. Well, I'm going to head over to our tipster tasting table. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a hot, ladies. All right, Sashi, you're up first. What's your tip? I like to use leftover apple pie dough and filling to make a sweet chips and salsa. It's always a hit at the parties. I love this. Like hey, it's a party right here. Let me oh, taste hi. it. I'm gonna put too much in, and I'm coming to you. Now. Oh my god, I can't even get it out. Okay, a tip. You got. I don't know. That's a that's a tip or something. <laughs> Just put the tip of the cracker. Oh my god, it's delicious. Number three, What's your never read during an interview. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good tip, Michael. <laughs> Fall is my favorite season, so my tip is a pumpkin ice bucket. Just simply cut off the top of a real or fake pumpkin, clean out the inside, and place some ice in your favorite beverage. Oh, that's a great tip. These are so good, I'm taking them. Donna, hey girl. Hi. Uh, my tip is, instead of throwing away those beautiful birthday and holiday cards, save them, cut off the front, attach to a present for your perfect gift tag. Double use. Absolutely. I yes. love that. Those are great. All right, great tip. We're going to get to our other tipsters throughout the show. Plus, I'm making a chicken enchilada bake with Susan Kelechi Watson from This Is Us. Carla's fixing a viewer's baking disaster. Michael's got a grocery game plan. It's going to save you time and money. Go, go away. We'll be right back. ABC's The Chew. Brought to you by Alka-Seltzer Plus Maximum Strength Liquid Gels. It's time for more of the Chew's Ultimate Tip-a-thon. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chew. Now it is time for a tip-tastic edition of... The Grocery Strength Plan. 
I am giving you a foolproof dinner idea using part of the grocery store that everybody loves but doesn't always know how to use properly. The frozen food section. Whoop, whoop. And I'm not talking about ice cream today, people. <laughs> we are talking, it is a great resource for creating quick, delicious, and healthy meals that you could do at home. So today we're gonna use frozen veggies and frozen puff pastry to make a vegetarian pot pie. Mm. Pot pie. This is one that I like to make for Liz sometimes. So first things first, Uncle Clinty. Yes. Can you go to the freezer and grab me some frozen veggies? I can. All right, okay. scooch along. For a second. The it was like, where's the freezer? Um, <laughs> as Clinton is heading on over, okay. all right, good, yeah. And I think there's, I think there's one other thing in there too. Go look, go check it out. <laughs> one other thing of veggies? I don't know, maybe. There's, we'll see. If not, no. Yeah. That's well, all. there's corn and there's bread. Corn. You want the corn? Yeah, bring me some corn. You want these French fries? Sure. No, I don't want. <laughs> oh boy. Did, did, you want more corn? Did, There's did, corn in the mixed veg. I want bread? extra corn. I don't okay. need the bread. The bread's for you for later, buddy. All right, so here, here's a, a great thing to know about frozen veggies is, you know, one, if you keep a garden, when you do freeze veggies at home, if you're freezing your own veggies, what you want to do is you want to blanch the vegetables first, then freeze them. Ah. And that's what it really kind of helps you maximize the oh. sugar and stuff in them, which is similar to this. If you are going to the grocery store to buy veggies because you want certain veggies that maybe aren't in season or they're a little, they're significantly more expensive often to get the frozen ones. Frozens are the way to go because they have most of the vitamins still in them, if not all, they're usually not in a brine, there's no sodium added, things of that nature. So I would always say frozen veg is the veg that you want to use if you're not using fresh. Right. All right. right. So, so let me ask you, so when you freeze the vegetables, you put them in water, you take them out of the water, maybe put them on a sheet pan and then let them freeze and then so they're individual, Correct. okay. Yeah, I blanch them, I shock them in cold right. water, then I put them on a, a tray so they freeze evenly, then I put them in a bag. Okay. Yep. So what we did here, what we started, is I put in um, a, a couple ounces of butter and melted the butter down. We're gonna put in a little bit of a pinch of salt and some thyme leaves. And then to that, I'm gonna add flour. Now, all we're doing here is we're making a basic roux. Remember, when you're making a roux, it's equal parts butter and flour. Two ounces of butter, two ounces of flour will thicken a quart of liquid. Okay, so four ounces of total roux, one quart of liquid. There's a little tip for you, CK. <laughs> when you were looking down at it, you see this is just gonna mix evenly. But if you're looking at, when you're making a roux, essentially the consistency you want with the roux is that of wet sand. So that's what consistency you're looking for. So I'm gonna mix this in as the vegetables are sweating. So the butter, the flour is all gonna kind of continue to cook out like that. You guys good? Any questions? I think that looks pretty. I do too. Isn't well, it pretty? you know, it looks like so, a, like sometimes a when you look like Shrek, you got to make pretty food, CK. <laughs> we haven't called you Shrek in at least four seasons. I know. Oh, well, it took four seasons I mean, of therapy for it to go away. <laughs> I mean, I I'm definitely just, stopped calling I'm okay. you Shrek in okay. your face. <laughs> I'm green with envy. All right. So here we have a quart of liquid. So I'm just gonna start adding that in. I like to add about a third at a time and give it a little bit of a stir to incorporate it, then the next third and so on. If you kind of dump it in all at the same time when you're making a roux-based sauce like this, it's gonna get lumpy. Okay. So a third, a third, a third, you, that goes with gravy, soups, sauces, whenever you're using a roux, then you don't get lumpy. This cooks for 45 minutes. What was that liquid, by the way? That was a vegetable stock. Okay. Right. It cooks for 45 minutes until you get this beautiful oh, consistency beautiful. here. Now, as that is sitting, I'm just going to take a little bit of flat leaf parsley. My last tip is I'm doing this before we go to the break. Thyme is a hard herb. It goes in in the beginning. It releases its oils and flavors slowly. Parsley is a soft herb. It goes in at the end, so it releases its flavors at the end and gets nice and bright. We take a ladle of our vegetable mixture for the pot pie. Carla took some puff pastry, cut them into little circles. Yep. She's going to put those on top. We're going to put that in the oven for 350 degrees till it is golden brown and delicious. What is about 20 minutes, and we come back, we're going to eat it. <laughs> There's be more tips, so stick around. <laughs> Hey, everybody, welcome.
Welcome back to The Chew. So today I'm sharing my grocery game plan to help you shop smart, because that's what we do around here. Yeah. We're finishing off our Popeyes. They're inspired ingredients um, in the frozen food section. We used frozen vegetables, a frozen vegetable medley, and additional frozen corn. Corn. We have baked these for 325, 350 degrees, so they're golden brown on top. You just want that puff pastry to... They're so cute. They are. They're so cute. I like to keep things cute, Clay. Thank exactly. you. Keep it cute. Keep it cute. That's my tagline. Keep it cute. So... Would this be a dinner size serving or like a side dish or an it, appetizer? It, I guess it depends. For me, I eat six. This would be one for Liz. <laughs> It just depends on who you are, you know? <laughs> no. Like, I watch Lizzie, and I'm like, really? That's all? That's all you're going to have? Um, I'm going to take the top off. So here's, here's a couple other fun things with this. I used puff pastry. Mm -hmm. You could use a biscuit would make a great okay. topping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Filo dough would work, make a great topping. Mm -hmm. These are all things that you could get from that frozen food What about frozen pie dough? Frozen pie dough would be delightful. Yeah. This is good. And you could have fun with the herbs, too. I use flat leaf parsley. But then you could substitute any soft herb you like. How about Paragon a bread? Like crouton. A, a, I wouldn't do a crouton. Okay, no. <laughs> that would make me feel like I'm eating a salad. <laughs> what do you guys say? Did you ever put chicken in it? Yeah. Oh, we could invent something new. We could call it chicken pot pie. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> No. See? I, I got another new thing we can invent. Biscuits and gravy. Oh! <laughs> that one's good. All right, these are delicious, Michael. Thank you so much for that delicious lunch. All right, let's go to our tipsters at the tasting table. Hey, I'm starting with you, aren't I, Ann? All right, Ann, what's your tip? So dried up wine and cheese, or dried up wine and cheese nights are the worst. So to avoid dried cheese, I wrap butter and olive oil around the sides, and then it prevents it from drying up. Put a little smear of butter on the yeah, cheese. That's yeah. smart. All right, thank you, Anne. <laughs> Spit out food. Sorry. <laughs> For me, for ladies and I, I do a little DIY, DIY um, popcorn holder, holders so that the ladies can eat, have fun. They can take home um, for themselves, and then I don't have extra dishes to clean. And not everybody's dirty hand in the same bowl, right? I got you, Melissa. Thank you, Christina. So if you run out of muffin liners um, at home, you can use parchment paper instead, and it looks really cute. Oh, oh do you sort of like squish it in there? Yeah. Oh, I love that it idea. Looks fancy. fancy. Okay, thank you. And is it pronounced Talia? Oh, Talia, yes. All right, Talia, what's your tip? For a quick and easy salad dressing, you take a clear squeeze bottle and you measure out the dressing once, mark it on the bottle, and every time you have the perfect dressing. That's a great tip. Thank you so much. All right, our tip numbers keep growing here at the ultimate tip. But look at that! 746,000! Thanks for all these awesome tips. We have to take a quick break, but when we come back, I'll be cooking up something special with Susan Kalechi Watson. Don't miss it. Tomorrow, we're all new, and we're having dinner with friends. Michael's taking the stress out of entertaining. Plus, we're hanging with actors Rosalind Sanchez and Eric Winter. That's tomorrow, right here on The Chew. The Chew will continue in a moment, here on ABC. It's time for more of The Chew's Ultimate Tip-A-Thon. Welcome back. America, if you are not watching This Is Us, then tune in and grab a box of tissues while you're at it. Plus, you'll get to see one of the show's breakout stars who plays Beth, an all-star mom and fiercely loyal wife. Please welcome Susan Kalechi Watson. <laughs> The Ooh. styling is on point. Well, you know, good team, good team. Good team. <laughs> Teamwork makes good a team. Yep. <laughs> makes a village, okay. Welcome back to the East Coast. We Thank can probably, you. you live in L.A. now because you're doing This Is Us. I don't. You don't live I'm in L.A.? I'm a loyal Brooklynite. Yo, you are? Yeah. Oh, so you're just working in L.A. I work in L.A. All right. But much to their dismay. They all keep trying to get me to move out there, but I love New York. do it. Dig those I heels know. in. Stay yeah. here. One foot in New York. Excellent. We always have a little Brooklyn in the house, yeah, so we're always. happy to hear Wherever about that. Wherever you go, there's Brooklyn. What's your favorite thing to do in Brooklyn? Oh, my gosh. What isn't my favorite thing to do in Brooklyn? I love a good party. 
You know? Yes. Oh. Right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times there's parties in the park. So yes. they like, yeah, like yes. Fort Green Brooklyn Park has like this that. outdoor like house party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they go hard in Brooklyn. Yeah. They and do. everybody comes out and has a great time. That's one of my favorites. I love summer in Brooklyn. It's there's a no place Yeah, summer in Brooklyn. The common outdoor concert, uh -huh. concert yes. parties. And Everything's free. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. If yes. it's free, it's for me. What? You know what? what? Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm new money, so you know. I'm looking for my money. I'm a scavenger. Speaking of new money, I mean, this is us. Right. I mean, I, did you have any idea that it was going to be the hugest hit on TV? No, I wish I could say I did. I just knew that we loved it. Yeah. You yeah. know, yes. like we read the script and we were all really excited about it. And I just kept saying, if people like it as much as we do, Sometimes oh my God, awesome. we're in a good shape, right? Yeah. So then the response has been tremendous. tremendous. I mean, the love oh. has been amazing. I mean, I'm truly grateful for it. No, it is it is incredible. And we yeah. love your TV husband. Oh, do you love Brown. Sterling? I oh love my gosh. Sterling. I have to ask you about the show. The show is literally all the feels all the time, yes. right? Are you tapping into all of the emotions? We do. When you're doing a table read or when you're actually like shooting the show or you're watching the show, yeah. are you as emotional as the people who are watching? I'm the one weirdy in the group. I'm not a big crier, guys. Yeah. So like, I'm not. Like, I don't I am very like in my actor head when we do it. So, and maybe it's like a coping mechanism, yeah. but I'm just like, okay, so Susan as Beth is doing this and that I'm very technical in my head and everybody's right. like, oh my God, <laughs> Kevin's painting and everybody's dying. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, so then I walk in and then, okay, got it, got it. You yeah. know, so I am probably in 10 years when I look back on this, yes. I'm going to die. Cause yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. watch it and fall it. apart. Yeah, I'm probably. stuffing it down. You're gonna cry for like a month straight. Right, I mean, <laughs> not, but what about in real life? I mean, do you watch people crying? You're like, okay, I'm just waiting for you to finish. No. You know, I'm, I asked my parents, I said, have, have I always been like this? They said the one kid who really didn't cry much was me. It was you. Yeah, do so you, maybe it's do you have Do you have the feels? You just don't. Uh, I have so many feels. You have the feels. Yes. Okay, they're it in there. It just kind of gets stuck here. Oh. Like I have this oh, big lump in my throat. Like like they yeah. are, yeah. Like, yeah, like, I, I get angry. I cry, like free willy, I cry. I, yeah. Everything makes me cry. Yeah, yeah. Liz, right, right. And Liz, nothing. Like, right. I'm like, nothing, I'm like, what's going on? Oh my God. If a dog or an animal or something, they're like, right, right. Yeah. A little bit of my, my mom is the crier, my dad is not. So maybe I'm just more you like got a little dad. bit of the dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. a little bit of dad in it. All right, so we heard that mm -hmm. you wanted to learn how to make a delicious, creamy, one-pot dish. Oh, you know it. So I think I've got the perfect recipe for you. I it's you so do. good. Okay. It is a one-pot green chili chicken bake. Yeah. Ah! Look at how good that looks. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, my gosh. And I hear that you've got a kitchen tip that you're going to share with us. I do. So, Susan, all right, what do you want to do? You want to, have, want to do the stirring? I, I'm going to look like I stir every stir. day. Look at this. You got, I mean, you, I'm telling you, you're so fabulous. You must be an awesome cook. Right? I, I'm not bad. Not bad? Okay, all right, good. All right, so in here we have some red onion yeah. and, some, uh, in, and some olive oil and some okay. fresh spinach. But you I'm could use frozen if you wanted to. To that, I'm going to add some fresh corn. But you could use frozen if you wanted to. I like it fresh. All right. Like it mm -hmm. fresh. Keep it fresh. Mm -hmm. We're going to use some chili powder here, about a tablespoon of that. You can stir that all in that, for me. Yep. And then two teaspoons of cumin. I oh, love no. cumin. Me too. Because I don't know what it does. I just like saying, I just feel like you know how to cook if you use cumin. So. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a... Oh, yes. Kind yes. of smoky. It's like it smoky, is. earthy. Almost curryish. Yeah. It's, it's mysterious. I love the mystery of cumin. It's mysterious. Okay, yeah. now I'm going to add some shredded chicken. You could use like a rotisserie chicken that you just pick apart, or okay. if you want to use, make some chicken breast. All right. All right, that goes all in there as well. And give that a big old I stir get for me. in there now. Okay, okay. Get in there. Okay, that, so then, yeah. after you're finished mixing that around, what we actually do is uh -huh. take half of that out. Oh, okay. okay. All right. And now we're going to start layering. Well, now I feel robbed. You feel? Well, I'm going to give it back to you. Don't <laughs> oh, worry. <my> you <laughs> <laughs> feed right. that half to your neighbor. <laughs> okay. All right. Flatten that out. All right. Me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take some tortillas. And I'm gonna, we're going to put five tortillas down on top of this. Oh, I told you it's a one pot lovely. wonder. Now, Susan, do me a favor. Yes. Grab about a, a, a third of that green enchilada sauce and pour that on the top of that. A third. Okay. <laughs> That. Susan's like, oh my god, math. They never told me there'd be math, math on this show. That's why I started acting. Okay, so two wait, ladles. you put the two late. Yes, two that's ladles. what I thought, Michael. I said two. <laughs> <laughs> like that. that was All what right. I thought. Yes. Right? The rest Ooh, of this chicken beautiful. goes on there. Uh -huh. Okay. Then five more right? tortillas. Oh, Clinton, okay. this is looking promising. This is it's nice. so good. I ate like a whole Oh my one. gosh, I'm putting I'm tortillas. Okay. Putting the tortillas yes. on. Okay. All right, look at that. Yeah. All right, now give me another third of that enchilada sauce. So I'm going to just say that's two ladles, right? <laughs> yeah, two ladles. <laughs> yes. All right, look awesome. At the color. 
great. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to cover this in cheese. <gasps> Monterey Jack cheese. Mm -hmm. I love cheese. All right. <laughs> All right. And there we go. We put this in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes until the cheese is ooey gooey and delicious at 375. When we come back, we're going to see how it turns out, obviously. Plus, more fun with Susan. So don't go away. But before we go, meet our awesome you and the two viewer of the day. Today's You on the Choose superstar is Sonia P from Ontario, Canada. Friday night in Sonia's house is all about her homemade pizza. And she used local hot banana and green peppers, onion and pepperoni to spice up her family's dinner game. Post your photos with the hashtag You on the Chew for a chance to be our Chewer of the Day. Don't go anywhere. It's the Chew's Ultimate Tipathon, and you're invited right now. Welcome back. We are joined by one of the stars of everyone's favorite hit drama, This Is Us, the very talented Susan Kelechi Watson. All right, so look, Susan, look what you made. I know. It's such little time. I know, so right? Good. Yeah. <laughs> it just cooks in the time yeah. of a commercial break. And it's great. It's I love great. it. All right, you ready to taste? <laughs> Am I ready to taste? Are you ready to taste? Listen. All right, so, yes. <laughs> all right, while I serve this up, uh -huh. I hear that you have a tip that you use in your life at home. Okay. Okay, what is that? I feel really good about this tip because, you know, our show makes people cry so much, and here's a tip <laughs> how not to cry. Oh, okay. So, um, onions, right? Everybody cries with onions. Not anymore. <laughs> you can cut an onion in half, right? And as long as you run it under cold water, I'm going to fake it with this, but as soon as you run it under cold water, you won't cry anymore. Mm. It stops all the tears. No, no more tears. No more tears. That's a great tip. It's then amazing. you just stop it from there. Look at that. You were so funny. And it's not just because I don't cry. <laughs> There's really no tears. So, so when you're watching you This Is Us, just have an onion in your hand. Right. And a bowl of water. Yeah. Yeah. Susan, really quickly while you're yeah. like, uh, while Clinton is like making your plate. I do. Thank you, you sir. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand you went to Howard. H. H. U. You know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, we had to. Yeah. Oh, Howard. That's like the best club you can belong to mm -hmm. in life, right? Talk about partying. I'm telling you. Oops. And we, we studied. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all eating? Are you yeah, all yeah. already? Oh, okay. No, it's all right. Wait. Okay. No, that's Developed no problem. Just for you. Right. This is us eating. <laughs> Clinton, this is me finished. <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious. Clinton, this, this is so good. <laughs> Isn't it good? This is me taking the rest home. <laughs> you know, the whole pot. Oh mm. my God. So, we have had some other of your talented castmates mm -hmm. on this show, on the two. They are all lovely people. Mm -hmm. What's it like behind the scenes? Do you guys get along like a family or? I'm so in this. Come on, give us some scoop. Right we, we're not um, going to let you go into your Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. no, you know what? It's such a good group. We really are spoiled. And I hate to say that because I don't, you know, mm -hmm. we are. But it's just, we hang out. We, we use every occasion that we can to hang out. So we get invited to various events or award shows. Mm -hmm. Gives us the chance to hang out with each other. We, we've started to, like, have drinks with one another, have lunch with one another, do all those types of things. Just getting to know them has just been a gift That's as well. Great. And you guys yeah. have met them. So yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They're, they're so lovely. Chrissy Ness, yeah. so Justin lovely. Hartley. Yeah. yeah. So, and it's, it's a lot of laughs. I tell you, being around them, it's there's a lot of laughs that happen, you know, yeah, it's sort just, of anti the show. Yeah. I feel like um, we should all be best friends, like the, your uh, cast and our cast. Let's just all be best we friends. We can have potlucks and all types oh, of things. Yeah, right? I'm so in. Okay, yeah, great. Okay, all right, thank you so much, Susan Kelechi Watson, for stopping by. Be sure to catch this fabulous woman on This Is Us. It's on NBC. Up next, Carla's showing us how to fix those pesky baking problems. We'll be right back. Thank you, my dear. Today, we're helping our viewers one dessert at a time with our Bakeover Bonanza. Yeah. All right, so let's see which dessert fail is getting a revamp. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Uh. Ah. Looks like banana chocolate chip blender muffins need some serious help. Yeah. Okay, this muffin fail is from Joanna who tested the recipe for the first time and said it didn't go so well. So that means, you know, honestly, the first time may not go so well, maybe do it a couple of times. But Joanna, we are here for you. 
All right, so the first thing, Clinton, you can help me do, we're going to okay. do the dry ingredients. Great. We have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We have one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, You're going to add in uh, one teaspoon of salt. All right. We have a half a cup of sugar. Mix that all in. And what I love about this is that everything is going in the blender. So, you know, these simple... So why do I have to mix it? <laughs> because... No, that's a really great question. Another oh, tip. God. Another tip for you. Because if you don't mix all of the dry ingredients together, they're going to clump up. Like if you're salt, you mm -hmm. throw it in there, yeah. it just clumps up. Yeah. I knew that. I knew that. Tip. I was just asking for the tip of thon. Okay. Oh, that's right. All right, so you're going to mix all that up. Um, Michael, you yes, have this. Carla. If you can start, you're going to start chopping up some chocolate chips for me. Okay, about okay? half of these or all? About half of them. Okay. What I love, when I'm doing really simple recipes, I like to do everything in the blender. When you think about pancakes, everything's in there. You don't have to worry. You're not cleaning up a bunch of stuff. It just saves a lot of time. I think it's great. I've never heard. Why does he have to chop up the chocolate if it's going in the blender? No, the chocolate is only going to be... So Man, you would have been my favorite employee at all time, of all time. <laughs> why, 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 why? So here's another tip. Well, the reason we're not going to put the chocolate chips in the blender is because it will actually turn the whole um, batter into a chocolatey mess. And we really, it's gummy. So I know, right? I know he knew that. So three overripe bananas, another tip. The overripe ones are sweeter, so you really want to make sure that you are using those old bananas, maybe that you just have them stored in the freezer or whatever. I'm going to add one egg. A quarter cup of whole milk. It's only a quarter cup. Yeah, whenever a banana goes brown on us at home, we throw it right in the freezer. Yes, exactly. And then you have all kinds of bananas frozen up, ready to go. Yeah. You have to peel it first. You do have to peel it first. Another tip. Another Please tip. peel it first. I don't peel it first. Because if you don't, you don't peel it? It's you a don't. pain to peel it's a frozen a banana. Exactly. I'm an iron chef. You are in show. <laughs> Wait a minute. I've got a question. Is that show still on? <laughs> Actually, Clinton Actually, Kelly. Actually, coming back. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this. Coming back for its 14th oh, season. Oh, wow, show. good. Congratulations. I knew that. I knew that, too. <laughs> <laughs> The other tip is make sure you're always having fun with your friends. That is the truth. Uh, so I'm going to mix up all the wet ingredients first. <laughs> all right, and the thing is you don't want to overmix them. I think that's one of the things that Joanna did. I'm going to keep this on low. And Clinton, what yep. you're going to do is take the dry mix and put it on the parchment. Oh, why do I got to put it on the parchment? <laughs> 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 and I'm going to do this, something like this, right? Yes. Gonna I'm going to keep the lid closed so just in case I get anything splattering. And then you're going to just pour it right into the little hole. Uh, okay. Uh. And then this is on low. We're going to gradually add in our flour mixture. See? It's going to. It's just, oh, there we go. Okay, hold on. Okay. Let me have this. Thank you, Michael. I got a little on your hand. All right, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, going in. Okay. All right. all right, that goes in. We're gonna we're gonna continue to get that going. Come on, come on. Okay, now you want it fast. I, I do. I do. This is this is this is TV. We're trying to get Joanna her little tips done. Okay. Okay. All right. We just we mix this up. We're just moving on. We mix this up. <laughs> you mix it up until it is complete. Then you take your your chocolate chips. You put these in here. <laughs> just like that. You just mix this on up just like yeah, this. Yeah, that's good. You scoop yeah. it into these and you, you put some it. on top. Another tip using the scoop is the same size, okay? You put some chocolate chips on top. Those you did not have to chop up. It goes into an oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. We're going to finish up this bake over when we come back. It all came together. It all came together. It all came together. back to the chew. If you're just tuning in, we're in the middle of a bake-over. Viewer Joanna's banana chip blender muffins were missing a binder, and they were over-blended. So now we're eating them. What do you guys think? They look delicious. They're fantastic. I yeah, ate right? a whole one already. Oh, they're so moist. They're so moist. 
of chocolate is evenly distributed yes. all the way through it. Yeah. There's a great banana flavor. And it's time to check in with our tipsters at the tasting table. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. Let's pick up where we left off. Amy, what's your tip, my dear? Hi, I wrap a tea towel around a wine bottle for the perfect hostess gift. That is a good hostess gift. All right, Edie. I put a wet paper towel under a cutting board so it doesn't slip. We yeah. do that here at the two. Brenda Lynn, what's yours? I use a tidy tub while crafting. A tidy tub while crafting. Makes an easy cleanup. Oh, it sure does. All right, thank you very much. OK, those were amazing. <laughs> it looks like our tip counter is at what? One million. Officially a success. What a great day. These muffins, Carla, are so good. Aren't they, are they so good? good. Joanna, you're gonna love those. Thank you so much, Susan, Kelechi Watson, and our tipsters for joining us. Come back tomorrow for our easy and delicious dinner with friends. Go to the chew.com for all things you and have a fabulous day, everybody!